I bought the Denver Post 31 years ago and immediately met Don Sewell, who gave me a history lesson in the importance of DCPA. And I remember him saying, young man, the Denver Post and the DCPA are family, and you got to take as good a care of this part of the family as you do the newspaper part of the family. And in 2000, when I became publisher, then I went on the board. In, in the last year of his life, Don asked me to promise him that after he was gone, that I would do my best to help watch over the DCPA as a, as a trustee, and in his words, make sure it stays on its mission. And I promised him I would. To me, the importance of contributing to and helping the rebuild of DCPA is keeping a promise to Don. But it's not just that. I love the place, I love the theater, I love the trustees, I love the people we work with all the time, I love the team. It's an easy commitment to keep because it's enjoyable to keep. When we knew we needed to spend major amounts of money to upgrade the theaters, I early on sat down with Mayor Hancock and talked about the needs we had. And, and the mayor said, look, I don't know for sure how we'll do it, but the city will do half if you can raise the other half. And I felt an obligation to help that process along because the mayor stepped up and the city stepped up. So we needed to step up. And since I'm the one that first approached him on it, I felt the need to show my commitment to do what he and I talked about needed to be done. I'm certainly proud that my grandkids who both love the theater already at a young age, will get to go to the theater named after their papa. You know, the beauty of DCPA, not only do we produce world-class theater with world-class talent, and we bring the best of Broadway to Denver, but we educate the kids in our community so that they can appreciate world-class theater as they grow up, and, and it's open to everybody. Through Helen Bonfils and Don Seals' dream, we have the finest theater complex and the finest theater in America for a city of our size. Don Seals and Helen Bonfils did the heavy lifting. It's now our job to see that it continues in perpetuity.